Good morning, YouTube guys and gals. It is bin day, Goodwill bin day. I just got to the bins. They opened about two minutes ago. So no more putzing around. Let's get in there and let's see what cool vintage stuff, hopefully, that we'll be able to find. Let's get in there and start digging. <laughs> This is what I think it is, then we are in business. So I just finished at Goodwill. It was pretty busy in there today, but I think I got a really good find if it is what I think it is. First, my total was $6.66. I wanted to add like a pair of sunglasses or something to not have that jinx, if you believe in that kind of stuff. So anyway, I got another vintage textile, um, a nice tablecloth. I will have to wash it. There are some stains, but a lot of times if I don't sell these, oh, there is a big stain. Yikes. I use these when I'm at the flea market to put on my tables because it just makes it look nicer. I did pick up that seagull sculpture. It is signed on the back. I think it's Jones Joel 78. I know there are some artists where these kind of metal sculptures do really, really well. I think that actually these aren't sea seagulls. They're probably plovers, which are little birds that like to hang out at the ocean. They were bringing out new bins. So it was like a, a mad rush, not new bins of clothes, new bins of the housewares and brick brack. So as soon as the bin came out, it was like, um, like seagulls on a French fry. And I, I, I get, I guess maybe anxious when that happens, or I, I don't like being in the, the, the mosh of it, like the mishmash of it and getting pushed and having stuff thrown around. Of course, you know, if you want to be a picker, you have to get in there and you have to pick, but I guess I like to do it a little more civilized. I did get this Pyrex bowl. It is the um, Brittany design. I looked it up. This was just sitting inside of a box. There are some marks on it. Online, they seem to do fairly well. Maybe in the 15 to 20 some dollar range, depending on, excuse me, whether or not shipping is included. You know, some of the bowls are super cheap. It's like 10 bucks, but then shipping is $12. So we'll see how that does. But that really doesn't matter because I found this. I'm honestly, if this is what I think it is, then I've done really well. This is a salvage denim hat, but if my research suits me correctly, this should be what they call a Daisy May hat. That was military, um, World War II, maybe a little bit before World War II. I do know a little bit about World War II. I did study it in grad school. So I always try to, you know, look on eBay for other things that have to do with World War II and what sells. And I know that denim, salvage denim is really popular. And I mean, there's no, there's no tags inside though, but the markings, the stitching, everything looks to be like this is a Daisy May hat. I can see why this would have been just tossed aside in the bins I found at the bottom because it just looks like, you know, just a normal hat like maybe even like a kid's hat but you know if if you're an expert on this 
if you've seen these before, you know, leave it, leave a comment in the comment section, but I'm almost positive. My Instagram keeps going off. Um, I'm almost positive that this would be a Daisy May salvage denim hat. So this will pay for everything and future trips to Goodwill if it is what I think it is, but I'm pretty sure it is. So with finding that did not do too bad today. Um, I'm probably going to head to the Karen share. I didn't spend as much time as I wanted to on Goodwill because I just wanted to get out with this before it somehow ended up not in my cart. So we'll go to Karen share, see what they have there. And, um, yeah, see you there. These are the silent auction items. Oh, look at that cute fish bang from the National Bank of Souderton. This doll is amazing. Bergman, Simon, and Hallway doll. Vintage Christmas ornaments, which I'm sure are going for high prices. A little Christmas tree. Cast iron parrot bottle opener. Beaumont Brothers Pottery Snowman. That's pretty cool. Fireman's hat. Comics are down there. So the bids on the dollar are at 40. And the bids on the fish bank are at 20. So we are done with Karen Share at the Weigh and Pay. I didn't really find anything. I had found one shirt, but there was a man that had his cart full of linens, and the lady behind him had her cart full of vases. I mean, full. I was not going to wait there <laughs> for them to go through because she wanted every single vase wrapped individually. So I thought, no, for one shirt, forget it. So I went to the variety store next door. I picked up this little green shoe. I'll add this to my St. Patrick's Day decor, which I don't have that much of. And then, you saw in the video, I also picked up the Easter Bugs Bunny. I don't do, I don't really sell plush. I do have a lot of 80s plush from when I was little. My mom pretty much kept all of my toys. So at one point, that will come in very handy when I go through them and want to resell. But Bugs Bunny, people still watch Looney Tunes. When I was growing up, they had Tiny Toon Adventures, which I guess was the little kids of the Looney Tune characters. So I used to watch that. But, you know, Bugs Bunny, there are still people that collect him, still people that love him. This is for Easter. He isn't in that bad of a shape. I can probably clean up his teeth with a, a magic eraser. You know, his fur is still nice. He's not really that dirty. And he, his tag, he has his original tag, and he's from 1971. Mighty Star Warner Brothers. So I paid $3.99 for him. Maybe a little much, but I figured I could probably at least get $20. So we'll see how that goes. But otherwise, the best find of the day was that denim hat at the Goodwill bins. See, that is why it pays to really dig down and, and just take your time and look and don't be concerned about all the other people around you. 
Um, so just take your time. And the Pyrex Bowl, that was pretty good. I'll either, I might just take that to the flea market and sell it on, sell it that way. It'll probably be easier. I won't have to worry about shipping it um, and things like that. So yeah, so not a bad day, thrifting day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, tell your friends, um, subscribe. I'm going to put out another video soon that goes over some of the paper that I purchased at the flea market from my friend. So be on the lookout for that. But until then, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. <music>